Hello guys, welcome to Coding Byte. You might look at the current crop of major Line X distro and see how big their ISO images are. It's common to see the sizes balloon to several gigabytes. What if there was a smaller Line X distro out there that didn't take up so much space? Fortunately, there is. It's called Tiny Core Line X. What is Tiny Core Line X? Tiny Core Line X lives up to its name by focusing on providing minimal core functionality. It is designed to offer the bare essentials required to boot up and display a desktop environment. The core components include the kernel, busy box, and an FLWM desktop, keeping the system lightweight and efficient. With an incredibly compact ISO image size of only 21 MB, Tiny Core Line X emphasizes its minimalist approach. Instead of bundling additional applications with the distribution, external software is referred to as extensions and can be downloaded separately using the package manager. Tiny Core Line X was created by Robert Shingledecker, known for his work on Damn Small Line X DSL. In many ways, Tiny Core Line X can be seen as a spiritual successor to DSL, inheriting the philosophy of providing a lightweight and fast Line X distribution. One of the key advantages of Tiny Core Line X is its ability to run entirely on RAM. This means that the entire system is copied into your computer's memory, resulting in swift performance and responsiveness. Installing Tiny Core Line X differs from the traditional Line X distribution installation process. In fact, you have the option to run it as a live distribution without the need for installation, which is referred to as the cloud internet mode. However, any installed apps will be lost upon restarting the machine in this mode. There are two installation methods available, TCE install and TCE copy FS. In TCE install, programs are saved to the hard drive but are stored as symbolic links in RAM. In TCE copy FS, programs are installed in a manner similar to other Linux distributions. When it comes to installation media, you have three choices, Core, Tiny Core, and Core Plus. The Core is the most minimal option, featuring only a console interface by default, reminiscent of a minimal Arch Linux installation. Tiny Core includes a desktop environment, while Core Plus includes additional components such as Wi-Fi drivers and non-US keyboard layouts. Core Plus is the largest download, weighing in at 248 megabytes. To initiate Tiny Core Linux, you need to extract the installation media and boot it like any other Linux distribution. During the boot process, you can configure various options using boot codes, similar to those found in Nopix. If you wish to install Tiny Core Linux on your hard drive, you will need to download a separate application called TC Install from the package manager mentioned below. Fortunately, the installation program is menu driven and straightforward. You simply select your desired hard drive partition and instruct it to install the bootloader. Tiny Core Linux utilizes the FLWM Faster Light Window Manager for its desktop environment. The appearance of FLWM may seem somewhat less polished compared to modern desktop environments, evoking a nostalgic feel reminiscent of late 90s designs. However, despite its retro aesthetics, FLWM is highly functional and efficient. If you have experience with other Linux desktop environments, you will find yourself familiar with the overall layout and usage. Extensions, which are additional applications, are installed in a dock located at the bottom of the screen. Additionally, you can access a menu by right-clicking, allowing you to launch applications and access various functionalities. Like most modern Linux distributions, Tiny Core Linux relies on package managers to handle the installation of software packages. Installing packages on Tiny Core Linux is a straightforward process. The distro provides a graphical app browser that automatically selects the fastest mirror during the initial boot. Using the app browser, you can search for specific programs or extensions that you want to install. Once you download an extension, it will be available for use in the next boot if you have either installed Tiny Core Linux or configured a storage drive. Upon restarting your machine, the extension you downloaded will be copied into the RAM along with the rest of the system. This approach ensures that the extensions are readily accessible and functional within the lightweight environment of Tiny Core Linux. If you appreciate digital minimalism and are interested in small Linux distributions, Tiny Core Linux should definitely be on your radar. However, it's important to note that depending on the applications you choose to install, the overall size of the system may increase, especially if you opt for larger applications like Firefox or LibreOffice. If you have an older computer that is no longer supported by Microsoft and you wish to breathe new life into it with Linux, Tiny Core Linux could be an excellent choice. It is designed to run on lightweight hardware, and it can even operate on an i486 processor with just 48 MB of RAM. Unlike many modern distributions that are growing in size, Tiny Core Linux stands out by maintaining its small footprint. 
This makes it particularly suitable for embedded applications such as routers or minimal servers. Whether you seek a smaller distribution or simply desire something different from the mainstream offerings, Tiny Core Linux is certainly worth exploring. Its compact size and versatility make it a compelling option for those who value efficiency and customization. Thank you for watching. If you found this video informative, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel for more Linux related content. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below.